Hello guys, welcome to Vikrant Tech. Today we have the new machine. The model number is Antminer S19 XP. This is a Bitcoin mining machine which works on SHA-256 algorithm and it will give a hash rate up to 141 tera hash by having a power consumption of around 3000 watt. So this is the server certificate we have here. And this is the original package. This is the front profile of the machine. This is the front side. There are two fans and this is our power supply. We need to connect two power cords in this machine. And this is our LAN port, IP reset button, reset button, fault light and normal light. This is the right side of the machine. Sorry, this is the left side of the machine. This is the back side. This is our right side. So guys, let me show you some of the specifications on the power supply. So this is the model number APW121215. This is our power supply. So guys, let's do the cable setup on this machine. First, we will connect the LAN cable here. The other end of this cable is connected in my Wi-Fi router. After connecting the LAN cable, we will connect the two power cords here. So there are two power cords, C14 socket. Both the ends are connected properly. Make sure you connect both the ends of these cables properly into the power supply because if they are loose you might damage your power supply after connecting the cables in the power supply you need to make sure that you, both of your switch are having a current rating of at least 16 ampere and have a minimum 6 mm copper wire as per the Indian standards so both the cables are connected and we need to turn on both the switch at the very same moment because it, if we do not like, if we do not do like that, we will damage the power supply. You need to turn on both the switch at the very same moment. Because if you don't do like that, you might damage your power supply on the machine. So let's turn on this machine and let's go to the computer screen. So guys, now let's turn on the machine. The machine will take around 1 to 2 minutes to boot. Let's go to the computer screen and check the IP and configure this machine. So guys, we will So guys, now we are on our computer screen. So we will use this software by the name of Advanced IP Scanner in order to find the IP of our machine so that we can configure it on the desired pool. I have already downloaded and installed this software on my computer, so I will run it. So you need to configure the software on your default IP. In order to get your default IP, you can Google the same. Once you install the software, what you need to do, you need to click on the scan and it will give a lot of IPs. So guys, we are getting a new IP here by the number 10.0.0.5. So what we will do, we will open our Google Chrome browser and we will enter 10.0.0.0.5. Sorry. 5. So once we hit enter, we will we will get a pop up like this which will ask for username and password. So the default username and password for end finder machines are root root in small letters. So once we click on sign in, we are already on the console page of 
and minor S19 XP. So now from here what we need to do we need to configure the machine on the desired pool. So here we will use F2 pool. So now we will click on the settings but first we need mining address, miner name and password for this machine in order to configure on F2 pool. So we will open our F2 pool website. I have already have an account on F2 pool. Now what we, what we will do we will copy the pool URL. So first one is pasted. Now we will take the second one done and third one is also done. Now now the minor name is our uh, sub account name on F2 pool. My sub account name is Vikrant R196. So I will enter my sub account name dot s19 xp you can put anything after one dot like my username is vikrantar196 and i have entered one dot after that dot i have i can give any name to my any of the machines so we will give vikrantar196 dot s19 xp and the password will be default 123 so once we click on save it will take some time to update the settings in the machine and it will show a ok message on the top right corner here we have the ok message so now what we will so now we will go to the dashboard and this is our dashboard here the average hash rate so now the machine is rebooting itself after clicking save and apply the machine is rebooting itself and it will take few minutes in order to show the hash rate and all other things so let's wait for that moment now we have already configured the machine on f2 pool it's getting reboot showing fault light and green normal light so the fan rpm are going up and down during this process and there we have the green lights on the machine guys let's go back to the computer screen so guys the machine is so this is the back side from where the hot air is coming this is the section from where the hash board is throwing the hot air and this is the section of the power supply from where the hot air is coming as well so guys now we are on our computer screen so guys this is the console page each and every information is updated here so let's start from the top right corner this is the end miner s19 xp working on sha256 algorithm and mining bitcoin bitcoin cash and all other coins which are working on sha256 algorithm so the real time hash rate on this machine is normal network status is normal which means the internet is working perfectly fine and the machine is connected with the pool and the fan speed here is also showing normal and the minor temperature is normal so here we have 142 tera hash showing real time hash rate 143 so the average hash rate we are getting on this machine is 141 tera hash and the machine has been running from past one minute and we have connected the machine on f2 pool and this is our sub account name and the pool status is normal so we have entered three pools here and it's 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 accepting the shares and solving the blocks so it's accepting the shares here on the on the lower side these are the three hash boards on the machine one two and three each hash board have 110 chips which means it have 110 ASIC chips installed on each hash board and the frequency which is running on these chips is 485 and these are the real time hash rate on each hash board we are getting around 47 uh, 916 tera hash on each hash board uh, 47 tera hash we can say or 48 tera hash and these are the theoretical hash rate the, like these are the numbers which need to be achieved in, while you are running this machine so the inlet temperature we are getting around 51, 55, 53, 52 and 55. These are the inlet temperatures and the outlet temperature on this machine is 67, 67 and 68. Which means 
the machine is working in in very optimal condition in long run your outlet temperature should not go above 85 in long run and the chip state is normal all the 110 chips on hashboard 1 is working perfectly fine even on the hashboard 2 as well as on the hashboard number 3 on the bottom we have the fan speed fan 1 2 3 and 4 there are four fans on this machine and each of them are running at 6000 rpm which will be automatically adjusted by the control board of the machine according to the temperatures so guys this is the end miner s19 xp we are getting 141 tera hash stable hash rate on this machine and let's go to the f2 pool we will click on workers and let's see if the machine is online or not and there we have ant miner s19 xp it's showing around 40 tera hash here it will take around 10 to 15 minutes while the machine has been running only from past three minutes it will take 15 to 20 minutes in order to achieve the complete hash rate on the pool it will take some time to update so and here are the two buttons in order to restart the miner and in order to reset the miner on the factory settings by going to the setting we can configure the miner this is the ip setting for which we need to keep it on the dhcp itself we don't need to configure the miner on the static as long as you have a system like that if you click on the system you can change the password which is not required here you can update the firmware on the machine and this is our dashboard so we are getting around 142 tera hash on this machine now i will tell you how many coins you can mine on this miner so if we search btc this machine work on SHA-256 algorithm and you can mine all these coins Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, eCash, Digibyte, Aura Coin, Wheels but you can mine only one coin at a time so you can use this website in order to find the best pool so we are getting around $12 of revenue while mining Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin on this machine so guys if you want to place an order for this machine you can head over to our website vikranttech.in and you can click on the contact us page you can submit your phone number your name and the model which you need and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible for more you can head over to the uh, our youtube channel uh, vikrant tech youtube.com slash vikrant tech and you can watch all the latest videos on all mining machines more you can head over to the community section of the youtube channel and you will be able to see interesting is working perfectly fine we are getting normal green light which means the miner is working perfectly fine so there are the two fan on the front side and the hot air is going directly outside the room you need to make sure that hot air is going directly outside the room always and maintain 230 stable voltage in order to run this miner